Welcome to the eSim Games Steel Beast Pro tutorial video series. This video will cover the generic 50 caliber remotely operated weapons station, RWS for short, the most basic model in Steel Beast. In this video, we will demonstrate its operation as well as demonstrate how to equip vehicles in the simulation's mission editor with this weapon station where desired. A remotely operated weapon station, RWS for short, is designed for use from within a protected enclosure, often with enhanced fire control systems. These systems can turn a previously unarmed vehicle into a combat asset on the battlefield and give sniper ability to otherwise untrained soldiers. Additionally, they allow the occupants of the vehicle the potential for advanced surveillance capabilities in the form of image enhancement via magnification and thermal imaging. In Steel Beast Pro, the 50 caliber remote weapon station is a generic representation of a weapon station meant to represent the tactical effect of similar systems in Steel Beasts other than the models of specific systems already simulated. See our other videos for more information on these. The 50 caliber RWS in Steel Beast Pro is fully stabilized, has a laser rangefinder, utilizes a 50 caliber heavy machine gun with independently stabilized sights meaning the sights will not move when the weapon is fired. No lead is applied, so you must apply your own adjustment based on range and target movement. As of 2020, these vehicles in Steel Beast Pro support the generic 50 caliber RWS. These models are the AMV XA360, the Aslav Personal Carrier, the Bushmaster, the Cougar 6x6 MRAP, the Eagle 4, the GTK Boxer Armored Personnel Carrier, the M113 G3 DK, the Man Cat 1 family of vehicles, the Man SX45 family of vehicles, the Piranha 3C. The vehicles listed here access the generic 50 caliber RWS in different ways, depending on whether the vehicle has a gunner station or only a commander station, as mentioned before. The keys used to control the 50 caliber RWS are the same used for controlling many of the other weapon stations in Steel Beast Pro. Here is a summary of the hotkeys. In some vehicles, pressing the F6 hotkey moves you to the gunner's position for the vehicles in Steel Beast Pro that can utilize the generic 50 caliber RWS. The vehicles with compatible gunner stations are the AMV XA360, the Cougar 6x6 MRAP, the Eagle 4, the GTK Boxer Armored Personnel Carrier, the M113 G3 DK, and the Piranha 3C. For these vehicles, push F6, which will take you to the gunner's position view in your vehicle. From here, if you push F2, this will take you to the gunner's primary sight view in your vehicle. In other vehicles that don't have a gunner's position, pressing the F7 hotkey moves you to the commander's position for the vehicles in Steel Beast Pro that can utilize the generic 50 caliber RWS. The vehicles where you access the remote weapon station this way are the Aslav Personnel Carrier, the Bushmaster, the Man Cat 1 family of vehicles, and the Man SX-45. For these vehicles, push F7, which will take you to the commander's position view in your vehicle. From here, if you push F2 in the Aslav Personnel Carrier, the Bushmaster, and the Man SX-45, it will take you to the Commander's Primary Sight view. For the Man Cat 1 family of vehicles, you should push F3 to access the secondary sight, as F2 is not a valid hotkey for these vehicles. As with the example before, hitting F3 allows you to access the sights for the RWS. The 50 caliber remote weapon station uses a similar sight configuration as other combat vehicles. The remote weapon station is very easy to learn and use. The targeting reticule is NATO standard. There are a series of vertical and horizontal lines intended to help you estimate the range to target and to apply lead where necessary. This is where the gun is currently aiming. If you hit the end key, you toggle the primary sight from magnified to wide view. Pressing the N hotkey once or joystick button 4 zooms in, pressing N a second time zooms back out. Additionally, when you are in the magnified or zoomed viewpoint and want to zoom out, 
You can also push Shift-N as an alternate hotkey to zoom back out to the wide view. Shift-N is wide view only. It will not toggle back and forth from magnified and not magnified. The generic 50 caliber remote weapon station is also equipped with a thermal imaging system, or TIS, quite useful for spotting targets in low visibility conditions, such as nighttime or through smoke. For instance, without TIS activated, you can barely make out the enemy vehicles in the distance, even when the view is magnified, when looking at an object obscured by smoke or low light conditions such as during the night, dusk, or early dawn. The numeric pad plus key activates the thermal imaging system. Note that the magnification or zoom setting for this system is separate from the initial viewfinder and requires separate magnification toggling as you see fit. With the TIS on, you can see significantly more in the environment and can easily acquire targets. Limitations to this include if it is raining or the target is so far out that it becomes difficult to discern the identity of the target. Here you see the thermal imaging system view magnified when you hit the N hotkey. The thermal imaging system in this view is showing light colors for objects signifying heat, like a vehicle or a person. This is known as white hot. If you hit the numeric keypad minus key, it switches to black hot where hotter objects appear darker and cooler objects appear lighter. As you experiment with the settings, you will often find one is easier for target acquisition, while another might create less eye strain in low light conditions. The choice is yours with this option. When you are ready to fire, hit the spacebar hotkey or joystick button 1 to shoot at the target. Note that the limitations of 50 caliber ammo apply. This weapon is more suitable for light targets. Man-sized targets may be engaged up to 1,500 meters, light vehicles up to 1,800 meters. By light vehicles, we mean trucks and armored personnel carriers, vehicles that have little to no armor. You can see if your rounds are hitting the target based on the visible path of the red tracer rounds, as well as the effect on the target if you see rounds impacting. Use these visual cues to adjust your aim point. In this example, the targets were close, so no super elevation needed to be applied. One of the essential capabilities to use when firing the generic 50 caliber remote weapon station is the laser rangefinder, which allows the targeting system of the remote weapon station to apply proper elevation so that the impact point on the primary site is accurate for where the fired rounds will land. Because Steel Beast Pro accurately models the trajectory of different weapons types, distance to a target makes a significant difference in where a round will land if fired without elevation. For example, when the target is engaged without ranging it in the sight using port. Before firing, you should lay the primary sights on the target and then hit the control key or joystick button 2, which will range the target and allow the targeting system to account for elevation as long as the target is within approximately 2,000 meters. Note that you won't see any visual indication, but that it is all happening in the background. If you use the laser very often during a short time, the laser will shut down to prevent overheating. Additionally, your tracers have a limited range, and beyond this point, are no longer visible as an aid to correct fire. After you range the target, go ahead and hit the spacebar or joystick button 1 to fire. You will find that the impact point is much improved, and so will your target. Using the rangefinder effectively is the key to hitting what you shoot at with the generic 50 caliber remote weapon station. Because there is no lead added by any targeting computer, you need to add any lead for moving targets by moving your sight ahead of the target, shooting where you estimate the target will be. At close ranges, that might mean adding a significant amount of lead to hit a quickly moving target. At longer ranges, the distance means a longer travel time for your rounds which makes leading a target a little more difficult. Use the tracers in reference to the lines on the target reticule to determine how far ahead to aim in order to hit a target that is in motion, and pay attention to changes in the target speed in order to continue hitting the target. Visual impacts of rounds hitting the ground, or the target, will also aid your efforts in successfully leading a moving target. As you gain experience, this will become easier and you will see your hit rate improve. To assign the 50 caliber remote weapon station to a unit, right click an eligible unit, select Options, then select Optional Weapon, and pick 50 caliber remote weapon station from the listed weapon stations. 
Once successfully chosen, the option will show a check mark next to it to indicate it has been selected. We hope this video has been a helpful guidance. Please send us your feedback in the steelbeast.com user forum so we can improve future videos and consult the Steel Beasts wiki for more information. You'll find the links in the description below. Thank you. We hope you found this video helpful. Please let us know in the user forum at steelbeasts.com.